Oh, and we're back. Opening a beautiful Mox Ruby. Just gorgeous. Look at it. Near mint Mox Ruby going right here. I like Titania. I think Titania is a sweet card to build around. I'll take either one of these talismans if they come back. I'll take a Custody Lich. That guy's cool. Oh, no. Did you hear that? It was loud. Two more talismans in this pack. That's fascinating. This is a quad talismans. Palace Jailer is a is a beast. Kiki Jiki is fascinating with a Mox Ruby. Uh, also Force of Will. I wonder if we take Force of Will if Kiki Jiki comes back and then we can get the combo and protect it. Moderately played. How dare you? Get out of this chat. That is a Kajiki Jiki. <laughs> Good times. Or we could just take Palace Jailer because, God, this guy is a beast. I don't know. I would take Forcible over Kikijiki because I think it's more likely... Oh, let me get a counter... Oh, we get a Dak Faden. I'll take a Dak Faden over a counter spell for sure. I think Kikijiki will 100% come back. That's my guess. Yeah, we're going to take Dak Faden. This is a... I I'm comfortable with what's happening right now. If we took Palace Jailer over Force of Will, it's very possible Rogrin Triome could come back, so that would be interesting. But I will kind of I will kind of lean towards Pester Might Splinter Twin if we can find those things. Dak is a solid gentleman. Not like not like those liquid gentlemen that you find, you know? Oh, we could through the breach as well. Y'all want to be breaching? If I was Luis, I would take Brain Freeze, but we all know we have very different drafting styles. Um, Yeah, I guess we can be breaching. Do we want to be breaching? Hmm. It's tough. I don't think it's Merktide Regent. Yeah, I like Breach. I like what we can do with the Breach. Dak, turn two Dak is a solid gentleman. That's where you want to be. Uh, there's there's your boy. There's one of the two little gentlemen that we're looking for. If Seal of Removal comes back, I'm actually totally fine with it. I think Seal of Removal is totally fine. Oh, yes, the old Pester Mittens. <laughs> the classic. Well, that was a weird, that was a weird thing that just happened. I think I've seen that in videos as well. No, maybe not. Maybe that was in the, I don't know what's going on. I'm just going to stop talking. This is a lot of Jeskai cards in this pack. Factor Fiction, Urza, Displacer, Phantasmal Image, Showdown, Upheaval. I don't think we're upheavaling. I could see us Factor Fictioning. Phantasmal Image, also interesting. Oh, wow, we were going to take a Displacer Kitten. That's ridiculous. Yeah, we'll just take Factor Fiction. Image does seem fine. Um, I don't know if we're going to have an Image deck, though. You know what I mean? Ooh, a Subtlety. Oh, Fourth Eurolingus? That's way too late for this card to be in here. Seventh pick, Fourth Eurolingus? Okay, now we're Jeskai. That's... Unbelievable to me. Has anybody cast this card? Have you cast this card? Oh, okay. Sorry. Oh, Fallen Shinobi. It's your boy. Nothing in here for anything that we want to do. Robber of the Rich might just be a fine two drop. 
Can you play lands off this guy? Excel top card during your turn to me. Cast? Nope. Guess not. Fascinating. God, is it just Wall of Omens? That's unexciting. Is Wall of Omens better than Robber? Yeah, probably. Okay, well, Titania and Custody Lich both came back, but they are not really in our colors anymore. I will take Ketri Triome. It is a blue and red land, which is pretty nice. This next pack should have Rogren Triome or Kikijiki in it. And Kikijiki is still there and beautiful. I do like an Escape to the Wilds. And we do have a Ketria Triome. So I guess we're taking that. Fascinating. Sea Chrome Coast. That's beautiful. That's what you want to see. Balance. Interesting. Urza. Interesting. Aetherflux Reservoir. Interesting. Okay, that wasn't that interesting, but we had a theme going, you know? Do you love me? Are we riding? I don't even know what that is. You're making really obscure references here, buddy. And I'm drafting Mana Crypts. And hoping Talisman of Conviction comes back. Or Expressive Iteration. But yeah, we're taking a Mana Crypt to go with our Mox Ruby. That was a pretty easy choice. Misty Rainforest. Uh, That's pretty good. That's got to be the pick, right? Nothing else is exciting. There's a Golos, which is Super Fritz's favorite, but Misty is a tri land right now. Could be a quad land soon. Ulamog the Infinite Gyre. We got a Breachy Boy. What else is in here for us? Like nothing, right? Triple Get Titan's also decent with Breach, but I'd rather be Annihilating 4. Triple Get Titan is good with Through the Breach, but it's also good with Flash. If we manage to get a Flash, and that's worth considering, I think. I wonder. We could also just take Fiery Eyelid or like... Yeah, that's probably the only thing I would consider. Yeah, let's take the Triple Get Titan. Oh, Plateau? Beautiful. That's all I've ever wanted. Now, our Misty Rainforest still only gets three colors. Keep it in mind. Just thinking about it, you know? Just worth just worth considering. There's a time spiral. That is fascinating. It's really hard to pass a time spiral, even if there's a bloodstained mire in here. I think we're just taking time spiral. It says draw seven. If we hit a Narset, golden. Isn't there another card? No, that's Hull Breacher, and it's not in the cube. I was like, I know there's another card that, that punishes your opponent for drawing cards. Obviously Leovold, but we're not in those colors. I'm thinking in, in the colors that we're in. And I think it's Hull Breacher and Hull, Hull Breacher and Narset. Oh, I do like a preordain. <sighs> yeah, we'll preordain. Okay. You got me. I would like a, a fetch land that can get a plateau. That would be nice. Like a flooded grove. That's not it. Flooded strand. Um, Arid Mesa. Scalding Tarn. Underground Ocean. Turtle Bay. The <laughs> Vice. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. Good times. Yeah, the uh, Riverside Canyon. Uh, mountainous Expanse. 
you know the lands. Come on, sing sing it with me. This is what dementia looks. Like. <laughs> it's not good. It's not good. Oh, uh, this is uh, an exciting pack if you like unexciting things. <laughs> Uh, I really like Sarah Paragon. I think she's great. We also have Misty Rainforest. Um, we can also play like Dak Faden or Pestermite or Wall of Omens. It's a double white. I think it's significantly better than Fairy Mastermind, though. It's also a Lion's Eye Diamond. We don't have a Lion's Eye Diamond deck, right? That's not a thing we can do. All right. I want to take the Paragon. I think it's really good. And uh, depending on what... F oh, Inspired Ultimatum. That's on color. So you better believe we're taking that. Cruel Ultimatum. Oh, the Talisman came back. Oh my god. We're like... They're like giving us the Dream Halls deck again. I think it's just Talisman here. I don't want to be super greedy. Especially because we just took a Sarah Paragon. We're going to put all of these expensive cards that cost seven or more in the same pile. Ooh, a Sunbaked Canyon. I kind of like Miscalc better than Sunbaked Canyon. Yeah, I like Miscalc better. Eh, uh, I actually think, P I think Hero Bladehold is just a better card. Saragond! Ugh. <laughs> I'm going to take Hero. I think Hero's the better card. It makes me feel better. You know, it's just nicer. I'll take a Carry Zev for the sideboard. Weathered Wayfarer. Okay, this these last few picks were, were kind of rough. We got to fill some gaps here for sure. We have a Tiny Through the Breach package and a Tiny Kiki Jiki package, so we're looking for bigger packages, you know? Wormy packages. Okay, there's a Time Twister and a Tundra. I don't think I care about Time Twister. I think I care about Tundra. And a Deceiver Exarch. Deceiver Exarch is 100% coming back though, right? We got Twister, Baleful Strix, Pest Infestation, Him to Torok. Taiga and Triome are options. I think Tundra is just too good to pass here. It makes Misty Rainforest actually get a a fourth color. And I think if our mana is good, we can easily cut Kiki Jiki and Pestermite. We don't know super care about those idiots. God, that was so insulting. I do like an Atali. And we have Through the Breach. Hmm. And you can just cast them sometimes. Especially we have Talisman, Mana Crypt, Mox Ruby. I'm just taking Atali here. I like fat idiots. That's that's what I want to do. Deceiver's never wheeling? All right, we'll see. We'll see, Dillon Mace. You little rascal. If it does, I'll gift a sub. You're not even currently subbed, which is weird. Cast him as a dino man. I'll try. I've never flipped him, though. Like, I've never flipped him and attacked. He just becomes Blightsteel Colossus, right? Uh, Caracas seems probably too good to pass. Flash... Is literally exactly why we got Triplicate Titan, though. So that's interesting. I don't think we've seen World Spine Worm. Does anything else work with Flash here? Kind of Atali. Like, you play Flash, you play Atali, you get two, two spells off the top, right? It could be terrible. I feel like Caracas is just so good, though. Yeah, we're gonna take the Caracas. Ooh, I do like a I do like a colonnade, but I also like a Mystic Confluence a lot. This feels like a Mystic Confluency deck. <sighs> yeah, I gotta take the Confluence. I think we need playables too. We only have two. We have we have eighteen cards here, and yeah, we'll take Mystic Confluence. This is an island and a mountain, which is kind of cool. 
Zerda does not go infinite with anything here. Tinker. Tinker can triplicate Titan. Actually, this is pretty good. We have Talisman, Mana Crypt, Mox Ruby, and we can go get a triplicate Titan. We can probably pick something else up to Tinker into as well. I do like that. This is a Plains and an Island. It's pretty good. I don't think it's Glimmer Lens. I do like Suspicious Stowaway quite a bit. I don't like Top at all. Bit of Reunion's pretty decent as well. <sighs> okay, just making sure it's still you. Yeah, I appreciate that. It's always good to check and see if people you know are clones or uh, alien imposters every so often. We could also take Top just to to sack. I'm going to take the Suspicious Stowaway. I'm a big Stowaway fan. Do we try to live the dream again? Also, we can Mizzix Mastery. We have Inspired Ultimatum. But that's all we have, I guess. I'm gonna... Do we try to live the dream again? Or do we just take the really solid removal? I think we try to live the dream again. I think that's what we're here to do. This pack is insane. Holy crap. Dig Through Time, Chrome Host, Thieving Skydiver, and Mana Leak. Wow. I like Skydiver. I also like Seed Shark a lot. Seed Shark actually makes tokens for Tinker. Tinker can even go get Mightstone and Weakstone, which is not terrible. Yeah, I'm going to take the Seed Shark. Oh, look, a Deceiver Exarch. One gifted sub to me. There he goes. Right into the pack. I like a Phyrexian Metamorph. Oh, I also like On Color Talisman, but Metamorph's got to be better here. Yeah, Metamorph's the play. Okay, we just picked up a bunch of good stuff, so that's kind of cool. Um, Thank you. Dillon Mace, I appreciate you, buddy. Good to your word. I'll take Lion Sash. What the hell? What the hell, you know? Mightstone and, you know, the Colonnade comes back. Oh, phenomenal. We got it all. If we get either one of those two Trilands that were dual lands for us, I'm going to be very, very thrilled. This guy still doesn't do anything. Whatever, I'll take Thief of Sanity. Mana base is looking all right. Would have liked one more fetch land. Oh, Spara's Headquarters. Nice, nice. Beautiful. Oh, and the Mizzix Mastery. That's fascinating. Okay, well, these can go here. This is 26. I'm tempted to cut through the breach. We do have Pestermite to see Rex Park, Kiki Jiki. And a Sabaros. <laughs> that is my favorite New York pizza. Yeah, it's good stuff. Really good. What land are we not playing? Just this one, right? And everything else is super playable. We need three cuts. I actually kind of like the idea of just casting Inspired Ultimatum. So these are the things we have going on here. We have... Mightstone and Urza. We have Tinker and Triplicate Titan, which can also get Mightstone and Weakstone for three mana. It seems fine. We have Through the Breach with Atali and Triplicate Titan as well. And then we have Kiki Jiki with Deceiver and Pestermite. 
these are the kind of little packages we have here. Or girl, not sure the, the Exarch's gender. That's fair. I appreciate that. <laughs> okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, shit. Super friends, you just saw me laugh out loud at your comment, man. I, I kind of just want to take out Wall of Omens, but it's we don't have that many early plays. Sort. Actually, we can take out Mastery. I don't think Mastery's doing it for us. Um... So we're talking about in this chat right now. I'll 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 do a little sidebar real quick. I we were talking about initially how I don't love a lot of the art from Doctor Who. And not because it's bad. I don't think the art is bad. I think the art is too realistic. It's too photorealistic. And it just looks like people on cards, and it's really kind of weird. But I saw this card and I was like, this is one of the, the few cards I've seen so far that I actually like. It's not super commandery. It's six mana. Draw three cards, then target opponent faces a villainous choice. And I'm like, okay, is facing a villainous choice a mechanic? Like, do I have to go to my villainous choice deck and give them a card or something? Like, that sounds like you're, like, it sounds like, then target opponent planeswalks. It sounds like you're instructing, it sounds like a mechanical instruction in the game. Does that make sense? They discard three cards, or you may cast a spell from your hand without paying its mana cost. This card this card seems sweet. For six mana, it's like a partial cruel ultimatum where you draw three, they discard three. Or you draw three and you get to play a card for free. But it's so weird that they put this term, then target opponent faces a villainous choice. And it's like, it's, why are you, like, there's such a weird way to, like, they've never added flavor like that to the, to the rules text. And like the keyworded abilities are fine because it says the keyword in italics. So, you know, it's a flavor like flavor text on magic cards is often in italics. Like it's very easy to spot. Plus it says the ability, then it's got a, a an N dash or an M dash. And then it has the ability, right? It it, it, it's clearly templated, but then like the way this is like, it faces a villainous choice. It's like you're describing the choice, which is really weird. And Super Fritz was like, they might as well be like, this next ability is so sick, bro. <laughs> it's like, it's weird for them to like describe the ability. It's like, is it that, is it villainous? You're telling me it's villainous. I don't know. It just feels weird. It just feels like a weird inclusion in magic, which I've never seen before. Sammy said, I don't think we need the five drop. But there's no, but which there's like. Are you talking about this one? This says target player gains five. It deals five to any target. And then you draw five cards. I think it's sweet and I want to play it. I want to cast it. I honestly wonder what if we take like, we can take, maybe we can probably take Sarah Paragon out. Like, what are we getting back? We're getting Dak Faden, Urza, any of these three. Stow away if it dies, Wall of Omens, Talisman, Ruby, man. Yeah, all right. Actually, it's pretty good. The five draw that puts a dude into play. Through the Breach? We have Triplicate and a Tali, which are both very good with Through the Breach. I feel like I don't want to cut the combos, really. I can see cutting Force of Will, but maybe not. Our deck is very heavy blue. Maybe Mystic Confluence? I feel like we need everything. I, I kind of want to take out Wall of Omens, I'll be honest. I, I know we don't have a ton of early plays, but I don't think it does a ton. And I kind of like the combos we have going here. Maybe just Factor Fiction. Uh, Hero of Bladehold. Yeah, I guess we can take out Hero of Bladehold. I'm actually okay with that. Sarah Paragon actually has a lot of cool interactions, so... All right, we're going to sort by mana. No, we're going to sort by color. <laughs> Love this. Okay, so these three cancel each other out. These are all ones, so it's two, two, two. Okay, so we're going to add basics. So white sources, we have one, two. This Misty Rainforest, it gets Tundra. That's great. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, we're definitely just cutting one of those. Blue, we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
that's fine for now. Red, we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's say seven. Three, three, one. Yeah, this is like seven, nine, eight. Yeah, I like that. That's really good, especially for having a mana crypt in there as well. All right, let's see what let's see if this deck does anything. It has a lot of powerful stuff in it, but we really got to draw draw the cards. You know what I mean? I mean, if we can go turn one island mana crypt triplicate titan, that'd be cool. Tinker, does it do? Who know? Who knows? All right, let's see if this deck does anything. We have like multiple cool combos. We just have to draw them in the right order. There's a little overlap though. Like we can get Tinker for Triplicate Titan. Uh, oh my God, we're so close. I'm gonna keep this. If we hit a blue source, we're not even on the play. Yeah, this is, this is a keeper. We're so close. We're gonna draw Triplicate Titan, which is gonna make it extremely awkward, but Come on, one time. Let's do it. Let's do it. Tundra. Fucking another red source? Get out of here! That's 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 bull honky, as the kids say. At least it wasn't a Mox Ruby, I guess. We could have also played Mana Crypt and cycled for Miss Calc to try to hit a blue source, but. We didn't need to. It was right here. Now, now, see, now they could have a counter spell, which I feel like I should avoid. Because we can keep up miscalc. Yeah, let's just pass here. I don't like it, but I don't trust them with a with a blue source up. I just want to wait for them to play something. Yeah, not that though. Something else. Oh. Oh, this is going quite well. Heads? And we won the flip? Oh, wow. We got it all here. Um, I think we actually sack Mox Ruby instead. Like, we don't need this much red, and two mana seems better than... Could also get Might and Weakstone. We have Urza in hand. Like, there's a lot of ways to get rid of this guy. Whereas Might and Weakstone is at least going to draw us two cards, right? What does this cost to meld? Seven mana. This provides two of it, so five mana. One, two, three, four. So we got the mana. Oh, boy. Oh, buttery biscuits. I'm going to go with this. This just feels like a stronger card. Yeah, we do need three red. I'm sure we can get another red. We also have Sarah Paragon that we can get back our Mox Ruby, so I don't think it's that big of a deal. We also have, oh, oh, well, I guess we're, yep. Oh, interesting. Uh, yeah, all right. That was fascinating. And I lost the flip. And look, we another red source, which is exactly the thing we don't need. That's funny. This is all three of our mountains and our only, all four cards in our deck that produce only red mana. We have drawn, so. That's neat. Yeah, and they would have actually not had an answer to... Interestingly enough, they wouldn't have had an answer to... Might and Weakstone, it doesn't seem like. If they just played that guy. We're gonna go Tails. Oh yeah, we won it. We're living... Oh god, yeah, that'd be great if I had another blue source. Just tremendous. This guy has Vigilance. We can attack for six and then attack for three. So we can put them to two. 
I say downhill because there's no more mountains to climb up. Solid. Yeah, get rid of that flyer. Go to five. <sighs> I guess we take nine. Sad days. This hand was great, and we had a great start, except for the fact that we literally could not draw anything but red sources. Oh, Super Fritz with the resub. I appreciate you, buddy. Oh, they don't want to play anything. Well, Tails never fails. Didn't fail. We we draw that again, I guess. But then we die, right? Don't we die? Aren't we just dead? One, two, three, four. Let's see. What could go wrong? Uh, negative five, negative five. That doesn't do anything. We can just draw two, I guess. Hmm. Well. I am fascinated. This was, in fact, a draw. And what's the alternative? Oh, they just block both. Smart. That is a that's a good idea. It doesn't matter. They wouldn't have gotten through. It matters. I don't know. Feels bad. I just I guess I was like, okay, if they're not gonna if they're gonna play something, I don't know. If they don't have an answer for triplicate titan though, and then we just both get to we just get to hit each other with our triplicate titans, and then I Sure. They're putting us dead to to our mana crypt, which is smart. I, I think we might be dead if we we just got a block here, I guess. If we don't, if we win the flip and then we draw a blue source, we win. So it's got to be here we go. <laughs> what? Come on, luck of the draw. gotta be heads this time right oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> is this it do we do it are we winning are we doing it let's find out what do you do actually artifact incident sorceries cost one less so one two three three and then one two three four five six we're actually one shy of casting this and then flipping him so we're just gonna try we're in two three one two three four five. Oh wow whoa <laughs> what a game what a game dude wow had to win the flip had to hit a blue source that comes into play untapped. Oh my god. Wow. They are also trying to they are also trying to tinker here. Woo! Got the sweats, man. That was a Ric Flair woo. My god. I didn't think we were gonna I didn't think we were gonna get runner runner there for sure. This seems fine, but if we draw mana crypt or mox, it just gets even better. Dak Faden seems really good against them. I will keep. They went to six. Snap it off. I never want to see you get mad again. Well, that's not going to happen, but I do appreciate the times it happens. So, oh, how nice. 
Oh, phenomenal. You're doing well for yourself. Well, we have a Dak Faden. Eventually, you know. Five mana. It's pretty good. Pretty good on turn two. That's not very exciting. Sure. It does shut down Dak a little bit, though. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, this could really go either way. They have two cards in their hand. Hey, Chief. What are you doing, Walsh, Ray? Oh, Palantir? That's probably what we're taking. <laughs> that's, well, that's pretty good. And also, Sarah Paragon can get back Dak. Uh, have them draw one card. No, I'll just take four. It's fine. You get nothing. Well, if I don't have to take damage, I would prefer not to. I also have one card in hand. Yeah, the, going to nine when they have three threes is is not advisable. Um, hmm, fascinating. I'll put you on top, and then I'll put you on top of that, so they can take ten if they'd like. They took ten. Wonderful. <laughs> So good, dude. This card is fucking bananas, dude. This card is absolutely but they always they're they always decline giving you the first cards because they just don't want you to. And then they're like, oh, I took 10. I guess you can draw every other card. It's so bananas. I can't get over like how much damage this card does to people. They're just like, yeah, I'll pay half my life so you don't draw one card. If they kill Dak here, it's great. We get to play Paragon, keep up Caracas. And then we get to just play Dak on the following turn. We're also very close to Inspire Ultimatuming, I think. I guess we're not keeping up Caracas, because I don't really feel like... Oh, fascinating. Oh, fascinating. One, two, three, four, five, six. Next turn, we just get to cast Inspired Ultimatum? Hmm, that's pretty good. One, two, three, four. I also have a Paragon. So we get to go red, 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 blue, blue, white, white. Yeah, that's really good. Hmm. Okay, so what are they gonna do? They're gonna mill, they're gonna mill two, they're gonna, what do they do, mill three? Well, I want the Tinker, so we'll put you on top and then put you on top of that. I think that's totally fine. Yeah, okay. They have two cards. We just have to survive this turn, and I think we're actually good with Ultimatum. Hmm. They can ultimate their Ren and Six. Ren and Realm Breaker, rather. And then start casting, casting things from their graveyard, but... Four mana... That seems fine. Okay. That's good. That's good, too. Yep, you're doing well. Sprawl. And you have one card in hand? Alright, I actually feel like this could be fine. Gaining five, drawing five. Oh, there you are. You're going to emblem. Interesting. Interesting. I'm fascinated. They have one card and three mana. 
can play lands and cast permanents from your graveyard. But your lands don't cast for any color anymore. So your lands don't tap for any color. So were they, they, I wonder if they were trying to replay this because they're like, oh, I can tap for green. If they tapped for green first, they could have replayed it, but they did not do that. Okay, so we're going to play Moxie. And then we're going to play white, white, blue, blue, Islandy. And now I'm wondering if we might stone Weakstone and Tinker, or if we Inspired Ultimatum, or we can play Dak, Or we can just play a Tali from the graveyard. No, we can't. That would be insane, wouldn't it? We can play Dak, steal like your Soul Ring. Mm, that's not that's gotta be worse than just Inspired Ultimatuming, right? They're also at nine. Is there a way we can kill them? We can actually play Might and Weakstone, kill their Sarah Paragon, attack them for three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. The problem is, well, I guess they don't have Ren and Realmberg. I guess they could just recast this. They don't, even, they don't have a second green. If we steal their talisman, we actually take them off their second green. We have a lot of options here. Is this one string? It's each year's. Tinker gets triplicate Titan, so... I mean, that's not nothing. Actually, we can play Tinker. Oh, it casts a permanent spell. Okay, we can't do that. One, two, three, four, five. We actually can't do both of these, I've noticed. We can do Tinker and Dak Faden. I kind of like stealing their Talisman here. It just gives us more mana. We can actually steal the Talisman and then sacrifice it to Tinker. That actually seems pretty decent. It's got to be ultimatum, though, right? It's got to be ultimatum. Target player gains five life. I will choose myself. Deal damage to you. One, two, three, four, five. Red, red. That felt good, and now we have now we have force of will in hand. So, okie dokie. Let's get rid of, oh, um, I don't, I don't actually want either of these. Oh, that's going to just win us the game. That's fantastic. <laughs> okay. Let's get rid of Misty and Kiki also wins us the game. We'll get rid of Spara's headquarters. Oh, you got Tinker on top, huh? You can tinker Mox and then cast Mox. What? If we tinker the Mox, it's in the graveyard. Oh, and cast the Mox. I see what you're saying from our graveyard. Got it, got it, got it. Yep. I figured they were trying to play that last turn. So they have one card we don't know about. And they're drawing Tinker, but they should be dead to fourth Eerlingus. And if they had a counter spell, they would have countered it. And it doesn't matter if they... Okay, that's fine. Tinker is neither a permanent card nor a land, so... Yep. Yep. You choose to play a card from your graveyard instead of from the top of your library? That's interesting. Yo, I heard you like drawing lands. Yeah, 
Yeah, this doesn't. This is just the. This is just the end. Yeah, we're just gonna give him the lingus, you know. Get linged on. Oh, that's how you win the match. Got him. Good gravy. Okie dokie, round dose. First round, we gave our opponent the lingus. Now we're going to go turn three. Oh, unless we draw a mox or a mana crypt. Two out of 33 chance. So like one, what is that? One in like 16? One in 16 and a half. Hmm. Well, this dude's a little a little jerk. I think I just keep Miss Calc up here, but then we don't get to... No, we want a Talisman. We want a Tinker. We'll give him the turn, you know? Neon Tokyo's like, what's Rav Ragavan do? Is that a new card? I haven't seen that one before. Is that a monkey? How cute. What a what a cute little guy! Shut up. <laughs> oh god, he's so aggressive. Oh look at him! Look at the little look at the little guy! Look at him with his little his little white fur and his little black face and little hands. He's he's a little cutie. Oh wow, they're just changing all their minds. Play Metamorph and copy the Ragavan. You're gonna just copy my talisman, huh? Well. Isn't that special? One, two, three. Goodbye. Uh, it's gotta be, it's gotta be triplicate, right? We also have Force of Will in hand. Oh, that's sick. God, Force of Will is a busted magic card, man. You ever played Force of Will? Let me have my reading. I'm sorry, Grandpa. I know you have your stories. That's all you got in life. Yeah, in Tokyo, I appreciate you, buddy. Oh, does that Watson? Oh, Watson. Come here. There we go. Why are your feet all wet? Did you just go outside? Was it raining? Your feet are wet. What did you do? Why are your feet all wet? Hmm? What did you do to make your feet all wet? I'm gonna have to message your mom and tell her your feet are all wet. His feet are all wet. It's not raining, it says sunny. His feet are soaking wet. Oh god, I think Katie's asleep too. That's not good. This guy's got vigilance. Oh my god, we're just this is just the best. We're just doing so well. Get him. So we can play a preordain here. Oh, Mana Crypt? Fudge. I'll keep both of these and I'll play a Mana Crypt. You know, as a treat. Is the weather wrong? It, maybe it's not sunny. What's the weather? Hold on. Maybe this weather is incorrect. Huh. Fascinating. I guess it is almost 7 o'clock. Maybe I don't want to play Mana Crypt. I'm just passing. We're just going to win the game. I doubt they have two things that can get through a triplicate titan. You know what I'm saying? We also want to discard this guy and keep up miscalc so that they play their removal. We, we counter it. What? Really? I don't know. I don't like that. 
Okay. <laughs> They're like, well, that's what I had. You got it. You got it. Well, if nothing else, our deck has been fun. What do we got here? What's this? What's this? I can't believe my eyes. So I once led on Ketria Triumph or like a tapped land instead of a instead of a Caracas. They played Ragavan, and then on my turn two, I had to bounce it instead of bouncing it on turn one. Which I feel like set me behind a little bit. But I also feel like they're not gonna just play Ragavan if we have Caracas out. So it's interesting. They also just might not have a Ragavan. Ever since 99, Force of Will has been a straight killer. Oh, the weather outside is weather. What's that from? That's from Saving Sarah Marshall, is it not? Paul Rudd sings it, doesn't he? The, as, the, as the surf instructor? No, not Saving Sarah Marshall. Forgetting Sarah Marshall? The movie with Jason Siegel and fucking Paul Rudd and Mila Kunis. Forgetting Sarah Marshall. There it is. What am I thinking? Saving? What's the saving movie? Well, this is... Yeah, I know. I, I remember that because I've actually sung it. I sing it all the time. I find myself being like, the weather outside is weather. Saving Silverman. And I got Sarah in there because her name is Sarah Silverman is the comedian. So, yeah, that's kind of funny, actually. <laughs> oh, look at this. Look at this combination we have here. Do we just deck and plus deck? For sure we do that, right? Oh, phenomenal. I will choose myself. Oh, we get a we drew a mana crypt and another red source. Well then. Uh we'll get rid of island. Probably pester mite. And the reason being, we can cast both of these off of a Sarah Paragon, so I'm not super concerned with. Can we? We can't win next turn because we don't have enough red, right? Can we? Hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're one shy of being able to win next turn. If we draw Mox Ruby, we just win on the spot. But then they have Seal of Removal, so actually I lied to you. <sighs> Manamorphose. Sounds cute. Manamorphose into Kitchen Finks. What do you make of that? Boy, howdy. Stowaway. Oh, here's a cute little interaction. We can go this guy. One, two, three, four. Sarah Paragon. Play Island. Might as well take a little gander, right? Oh, Inspired Ultimatum. One, two. We're not that close. <laughs> I guess we pitch these two again. Oh, actually, no. We played We played a card from the Graveyard already, so we'll pitch Island and Inspired. We'll play Stowaway. Maybe we should have pitched Plateau, and then we can play the Plateau next turn, but if they have a way to get rid of Paragon, I don't love it. That being said, I feel like we're doing pretty okay here. Sorts of plowshares. That is a good one. This is why we didn't discard Plateau. Yeah, that's fine. I accept. Count Dacula. He can take a hit. And apparently he could not take a hit. Yeah, blink that Finks.
heads on the flip through the breach if this is this is problematic i i think well we'll play our land one two three four five six seven we can might and weak stone kill the flicker wisp or just draw two i don't think i'm terribly scared of six cards here One, I think we just, we also could just win here where they have one card in hand and they have to just deal with our one, two, three. So we can just go red, this, this, right? And then we have one, two, three. Uh, we did win last match. So we go one, two, three, and then we have a red. We untap this red and then we add one, two, three, four. Sure, let's do that. If they bounce, we can just throw the breach Kiki Jiki next turn, right? So they have to waste seal of removal. Do they bounce him now? Yep. Okay. So that's fine. I would have personally bounced the Kiki Jiki because we don't have another red, but now they have one card in hand. They have two cards and they have to be able to deal with Kiki Jiki with the two cards. No blocks. <laughs> that does it, I guess. Yep. That does solve a problem. Oh, that's interesting. If only that... Where, where were you last turn? One, two, three, four, five. I mean, I'm tempted to kill one of these guys, but... Then they just blink it in response. Interesting. Not ideal. I would have preferred a land. We're going to take six here. Actually, Parallax Wave is a really good, really good draw. Yep. One, two... Three, four, five, six. Oof. Mm, that's fine. We'll keep losing the flip here. All right. Well, one, two, three, four, five. I think we're just dead to Parallax Wave. I think Parallax Wave literally just killed us this game. Fascinating. <sighs> wow, I feel like we were so close to winning and then like Parallax Wave just fucked us up. That's frustrating. I feel like Wall of Omens actually might be decent here. Wow, Parallax Wave, what a beating. And then we draw, we draw Force of Will the next turn, so.
balance is tempting, but they don't really have a, like we've seen like two creatures. We've seen Kitchen Finks and Flicker Wisp, right? And Ragavan, I guess. Wow, I felt like we were in really good shape that game too. I'll keep this hand. Oh, they went to six. Got a lot of things. Uh, we a uh, Kiki Jeek's actually pretty rough here because we don't have a red source. Oh, there we go. We're gonna draw Caracas here. If they if they have Kiki Jeek and they want to dash it, I don't feel like dealing with it. I mean, the only situation where I'm going to regret this is if we draw Dak Faden because it'll be a three drop that I want to play. And then our Seachrome Coast is going to come in late. But now it's fine. Plus, we can just play Pestermite, too. Oh, well, they just missed Lander up. Well, we're definitely playing Pestermite here. Any thoughts on dinner? Not yet. They're going to tap it and, and force of will this guy. Sure. Uh, no. Oh, that's interesting. It would be more interesting if we had a good creature, but with if we, if we had Kiki Jiki in hand, that would be pretty good. However, if we draw Kiki Jiki, if we draw a triplicate Titan, if we draw a Tali, Kitchen Finks. Kitchen Finkus every game a -roo. Oh, they're paying something. They're changing their mind. This guy. Tap this one. Mmm! Bad draws these are, yes. We also need three red for Inspired Ultimatum, so if we drew that, we wouldn't be able to cast it next turn because we only have two red. They have seven cards, we have four. <sighs> Play Sarah Paragon. <sighs> Obnoxious. Kiki Juki is now a dead draw. Come on, triple like a Titan, right off the top. Or Tinker. Fucking Christ. This is so frustrating. <laughs> like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana sources, three actual spells. Seems good. Take your two, then plus Chandra to maximize your odds of hitting something. Yeah, the old, the old nine to three. I mean, it felt like our odds were great to win last game, but now we're adding two. They're going to cast their own Atali here. Fucking Christ. Come on. Yep. What a ridiculous planeswalker. See you later. Sure. You just blink Miskinboo to get another token? Oh, you blink Chandra. Okay. Seems fine. Triple get Titan one time. Ho! Ho! Ho ho ho! Ho ho ho! Can we win with that? Is that... How much is that? I don't even know. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. So 12, no, but we can get rid of everything. Uh, attack Chandra, attack Chandra, attack Minsk, attack Minsk, attack your face, and which one do we want to guarantee dies? Probably Minsk and Boo. Wow, that was phenomenal. And we get to draw a card. Beautiful. Sarah Paragon can get to see Rexarch back. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. All right. Well, we're back in the driver's seat, I guess. I mean, these two Planeswalkers are terrifying, but this card is absolutely bananas. Five mana. <laughs> well, doing it for three is is worse than doing it for five, six, however many. I mean, this is this is actually fine. It's not. Yeah, sure, you get the you get the monarchy, but <laughs> yep. Oh, there's your boy. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So we can actually go Sarah Paragon and through the breach. Can we just do it just a win? Nine, it's 15. This is, this is lethal. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. <laughs> I don't even understand. That's fun. That was a wild series of draws, man. A wild series of draws. We got frustrated at that Minsk and Boo following that Chandra when we were drawing nine lands and three spells. Mm -hmm. But fourth of your Lingus into Triplicate Titan was... I tip my hat to you, Dick. What don't you have? A, a job currently. Currently I am unemployed. So... If you guys know of any game design positions... Uh, we definitely did not have Lethal with Breach and Sarah Paragon. Six times two plus three. Oh, this is 12. Oh, you're right. Wait, for some reason. Okay, so for some reason, funny thought. I looked at the six and I was like, okay, this is six damage. And this is nine damage. So that's 15. That's Lethal. Yeah, I guess that's true. I just totally forgot that these are actually two twos. This card is so bonkers that I'm like, okay, clearly if it's an X spell, it makes it's one damage per X. That's what X spells do. They deal one damage per every X you spend. But it's not. It's two damage per X. It's just a very weird card. I did not realize I had 12 power on board because that's utterly busted. The card, the card is nonsense. It's good on turn three. It's good on turn 12. And why do the creatures even have trample? They're two twos with haste and trample. Why do they have that? I don't know. All right. Oh, we got the Lingus. This hand's kind of rough. We do have this combo and we have this combo. The combo is uh, tap lands and cast it. We're keeping this because of preordain. And the Mox Ruby that we're gonna find, right? Am I right? There was no Mox Ruby there. Well, I don't think we need any of these. We'll see what we hit. Oh, Plateau. That's perfect. Beautiful. Mm, that guy's kind of a pain in the ass. I'm very tempted to counter that. I think this guy just actually is probably an engine for their deck, and I think without it, that guy's that guy's a big fat idiot. That's bead. Man, if I my kingdom for a mana drain, huh? Yeah, that's fine. Say they would have been able to cast this, get a one one, they attack for two. I think this is actually a, I, I I support this this decision by us. I 
I'm also very tempted to just fourth for one here. Like, they don't have anything on board. We get a 2-2 and they lose. They, we get the monarchy as well. Yeah. I feel like that's pretty good. Like, they don't strike me as a deck that's going to have a ton of creatures that can get in here and really do some damage to us. So we'll see. Could be famous last words. They're going to be like, haste creature. Okay, that's fine. But you don't do any like not doing anything when you time walk and not having anything on board is usually just fine. Snapcaster time walk. <laughs> oh Lord. <laughs> Fantastic. You got it. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, Lord. What a fucking amazing sequence of events. I guess I should have anticipated they go time walk, snapcaster, time walk, treachery. What a dummy I was. Boy, I don't have an artifact. Fantastic. Everything's going well. Going very, very well. Just another life is a simulation moment brought to you by me. Really glad they can get those extra cards off the monarchy. They're like doing nothing too. It's kind of comical. Another red source, huh? So we could just we could just play Kiki Jiki, is what you're saying. If that's our play. Eh, we're just gonna go to the next game. I just don't feel like this is gonna get anywhere. They have five cards not doing anything, so it's like are they counter spells? Who knows? Let's bring in Lion Sash. I also kinda want Hero of Blade Hold. It seems like they're kind of a dirtily com uh control deck. I wonder if balance is good against them, actually. Like, if they go third path Iconoclast and we just have... We're just a deck with no creatures, it might just be fine. I definitely I definitely support the Force of Will. I think the Force of Will was still correct. Like, they would have third path Iconoclast and three... At least three one ones, And with double, double time walk, they what deal? They deal two. They time walk, and then they deal three, so that's five. Then they Snapcaster time walk and deal uh, one four, so that's nine. And then they have third path, time walk, time walk, snapcaster, one, two, three, four, five, six. So like we're at like three life at that point, maybe five, three or five life or something ridiculous. And then they, they still have treachery in hand. So it's like, I mean, not killing that guy actually is actually insane. It's terrible for us. What did I bring in? I brought in Balance and Hero of Bladehold? Eh, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, we'll do that. Oof. Um, This is less of an oof than it looks like. We can actually cycle Miscalc and we also have it on turn one. And then turn two, if we draw any land, we can factor fiction. I am very tempted. Yeah, we're just going to keep it. Oh, losing flips left and right already. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. 
Interesting. No play, huh? Tails never fails. Cool, it failed. Why did you fail? Um, see, this is interesting. We can talisman here and keep up miscalc. I think that's probably better than factor fictioning. The reason is it gets a mana on the board. If we just keep up factor fiction, we're not really advancing our, our position. No. I'm just going to pass here. Nice. Uh, have them draw? Sure. I'm not going to not let them draw when I have mana crept out and I've lost two flips. Beautiful. Well, I was hoping for a land here, but actually Hero of Bladehold might be good. And the reason is that they don't have treachery next turn. I wonder what they do have. Okay, I guess they're just going to time time walk into treachery. My mistake. Oh boy. Fantastic. Never fails. <laughs> oh, let me guess. Snapcaster in a time walk. Third path into nothing. Great. Sure. Really wish I brought the balance in. The reason we're playing this is because they don't have treachery mana. Oh, just kidding. So one, two, three, four, five. If we had one more land, we can actually copy this. That would be pretty sweet. I mean, they have five cards. I'm sure they're going to have an answer for this. And if they do, we're just going to straight concede. <laughs> Phenomenal. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Apparently, I'm not meant to win a draft. But, uh... Dex still did pretty well when I won. So I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.